Hi guys, I'm Shanice. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe now because what why haven't you already done so? That's very strange of you. <laughs> but just to go ahead and dive into the video today, I am going to be talking about my top five most disappointing Korean dramas from 2022. So to be included in this list, the drama had to have at least started airing in 2020, 2023. So with that in mind, I'm sure all of you would be like, Shanice, you didn't mention this, you didn't mention that. You can let me know whatever you think I've missed in the comments and then let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. Happy to oblige. So as most of you know, I do watch things that um, a faster speed than most do. I highly recommend it if you want to just save time. Um, but again, I limit this to things that I just feel like um, if I watched at normal speed would be a waste of time. And that does include a lot of shows and movies. Um, so with that being said, I've watched so many um, shows and movies so that you don't have to. And hopefully you take some advice and avoid these ones. So I'm going to be counting down from number five all the way down to number one. And then I'll mention some honorable <laughs> honorable dramas that um, didn't exactly make the cut, but you should be warned about. So number five is going to be this drama called Curtain Calm. So let me read y'all what my description of this drama is. So it stars King Hanul, and he is starring as Jae Hyun, a small-time local theater actor with a poor background, and then he gets hired to play the grandson of a rich old woman who's close to death. And it also stars Ha Ji Won and Go Ju Shim, and it was released at the end of October 2022. So first off, what are my main issues with this drama? <laughs> they have a ridiculously talented cast. If you know any of the names I've just mentioned, you know that these people are heavy hitters in the Korean entertainment sphere. However, <laughs> the plot is not giving. I don't know who their managers are. I don't know who the agency directors are that signed off on these people acting with this very weak plot, but they need to go ahead and apologize to the stars of this drama because when I tell you, you could have just watched the first two episodes and then watch the last episode and be done with it. I'm not joking. It's that <laughs> undramatic and like nothing happens from the start to the finish. Um, there is no chemistry between the two leads. I love them. God bless their hearts. There is nothing there to spice it up or to keep you watching. And at the end of the day, you're just wondering why, why, why did I invest so many hours into the show please let's never do this again i i beg of you whoever whoever put this together we this this was so unnecessary but that being said um if you do want to spend time watching a drama about a um lady that comes over from north korea and establishes a life and becomes very successful in south korea um, and it's towards the end of her life and she's looking for her missing family from the north you can go ahead and watch it just understand <laughs> nothing is explained all the major plot points i don't want to spoil it but <laughs> none of the major plot points are explained like why 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 all three whys are not answered so yeah, waste of time. Number four, I chose Cafe Minam Dang or Minam Dang case notes as some places like to call it um, to read my description of what this drama is about. So Nguk plays Nam Han Jun, who used to be a criminal profiler, but now works as a fortune telling con man. Yes, so while he scams his customers, he still does help them and is aided by his friends and his sister um, to run his little con cafe that he has going. He's popular because he's very handsome and um, his fortune telling is accurate. And this drama was released um, at the end of June 2022. So my main gripe with this drama is why is it so boring? <laughs> 
Now, don't get me wrong. I love the plot. Like, I came in for the plot, and of course, So Ngook, I love him. Um, he tends to choose, you know, really nice dramas. Um, so I'm like, I was very excited going in. I mean, it has the same plot as Psych, the American drama, or The Mentalist, but like, you know, maybe not as emotionally heavy. Um, but it was just... It was a chore to get through this one. I think um, there was really very little that could save this drama. Um, it was supposed to be a thriller, <laughs> but I was just like, why? Why did they put this together? Why did they waste so many resources on this one? Um, I think maybe you can watch up to like episode five or six and then you start wondering what's supposed to keep you um the female lead is just very very hard to like um they have no chemistry once again so i mean if you if you like so in gook i guess watch it just to see him um but yeah i mean once again a good cast wasted on a black bad plot so that's my take on it um, number three, I'm getting through this pretty quickly, Eve, oh my gosh, okay, so let me first describe what Eve was and then I'll get into it. So Eve aired at the start of June and it marked So Ye Ji's return to K-drama world after her unfortunate scandal and it's your typical revenge drama. So if you watch the American TV show Revenge, um, this one is like that except Eve's plan involves breaking up a Chabel's marriage and um, obviously going after the people that wrongfully um, destroyed her family. So with that being said, uh, I have a profound love for Soye G. Let me just, let me just, let me just pause here for real. And I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating when I say she's one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. And I think the camera just agrees with me. The camera loves this lady. She looks absolutely stunning, absolutely breathtaking. It's like a work of art just looking at her. Um, and I honestly think she's actually a pretty good actress. If you watched any of her previous stuff, um, she looks good. She looks good on film. Now, with that being said... Oh man, I really expected more from Eve, um, but it was again this phenomenal cast wasted on a plot that doesn't really have any impactful end. Um, it's not to say it's badly written, uh, because there's definitely a lot of suspense. There's some, you know, really intriguing moments in there. And, you know, Soya G's acting really draws you into her character and you really sympathize with her and, you know, you're, you're rooting for her. And there's a lot there for you. It's just by the end, you're just wondering what to take away from it. Um, I think my biggest thing would be if you just... You just want to see Soya Jin um, or any of the actors and you want to see the amazing designs and fashion um, choices that their design department made, then definitely watch it because those outfits where they were giving everything they needed to give, just absolutely stunning, breathtaking job from, you know, the design department. So yeah, if you're into fashion, <laughs> I guess this is the show for you, um, obviously. It, it it just did not did not live up to what it was supposed to be. Okay, so my number two most disappointing drama has to be Reborn Rich. So let me let me tell you what I what I summarized um, this drama as. So it is based off of a webtoon and aired mid November twenty twenty two. Had pretty much the same plot as Again My Life, but with a twist. And maybe I should do a video on Korean dramas that have the same plot lines, because they do tend to have that thing where they release the same type of drama plots within, you know, maybe months of each other. So I may just do that for you. 
But Reborn, which stars Sung Jung Ki in a dual role as a loyal employee of um, a Chaebol's company and then also the youngest son of the Chaebol company. So for this one, oh man, I don't know where to start. If you love just looking at Sung Jung Ki first off, yes, this is a drama for you. Definitely watch it. Um, if you want to waste 15 hours of your life, um, <laughs> Yeah, you can go you can go watch it because the first 15 episodes, really solid writing, just really well done. Um, it keeps you hooked in, it keeps you at the edge of your seat. And then at the very end of episode 15, you're just like, what? What? Who? <laughs> what is going on? And you you wonder, I'm at episode 15. They have one episode to wrap this up. And you know, deep in your heart, that you cannot expect them to wrap it up properly in just one hour. But because you have wasted 15 hours of your life, you now have to see it through and see what happens. Obviously, because I watch that multiple speeds i did not waste 15 hours of my life but i'm talking to you right now if you are planning to watch this it would feel like wasting 15 hours of your life i do recommend watching again my life um if you want to watch something with this type of plot line because at least with that one you know the reasoning is explained whereas i've just told you what the plot is but how the dual role comes about it's really murky and they don't really do a good job of wrapping things up. Again, the female lead might as well have not just been in the show. There is no chemistry between them. Um, his other drama, Vincenzo, is definitely better as far as Song Jun Ki dramas to watch. So up to you if you want to waste your time. Um, but yeah, at the end, you're just left with plot holes and feeling a bit insulted, actually, by the whole drama in general. So with that being said, let me go ahead and list off my honorable mentions. So I had Adamas, which stars Ji Sung, who is one of my favorite actors, actually. And I'm wondering why he picked this one. Um, not really sure what happened there. Another one is Remarriage and Desires. It's a Netflix um, show starring Kim Hee Sun, and she's absolutely breathtaking, absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite people to watch. But this was a reduced episode uh, show on Netflix, and it felt like they definitely needed at least one or two more episodes to properly wrap the show up. Another honorable mention is Forecasting Love and Weather with our rom-com lady Park Min Young, and she just really chose the wrong drama. I don't, I don't know who told her to choose this one, but it was just not good. Um, she had no chemistry with the main lead. Like it was, it was bad. It was really bad. Um, and then Jinx at first is, I just have to ask why, why did you do that? And there's this little known drama called Glitch on um, Netflix. And I actually liked it. I just felt like I was disappointed at the end because there should have been more and maybe they're doing a season two or something. Not really sure. But with that being said, drum roll please, my number one most disappointing Korean drama of 2022, 2521. Yeah, you knew, you knew this was coming. If you didn't know, then, well, now you know. Oh, God. Okay. First, let me just, let me read the description of this drama. So this is a story about young love starring Kim Tae-ri as a, you know, fencer, Nahido, and then Nam Joo Hyuk as the reporter Akia Jin, and it aired from February to April 2022. Now, let me just tell you, this is so beautifully written. Um, the first 12 episodes, so well written, draws you in. So much chemistry there. There's so much. You're just, you want to know everything. You, you just want to keep watching. And then it just yanks the earth out from under you and in the most brutal of ways i'm like why 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 did you decide to take this abrupt direction like what what caused you to change the vision <laughs> anyways it's 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 a hard watch for anyone who likes 
um, you know, happy endings. And I'm that kind of person. I like to watch things that are happy. I don't like to watch realistic things because why I can just go out in the world and see what's happening if I want the real world stuff. I want happy endings. And this just did not give me that. So I was very, very disappointed because I love these beautiful people. King Terry is just absolutely gorgeous to me. I just, I love her so much. And I really, I was hoping for a better result at the end, um, especially considering how great the writing was and just the cast as a whole, their chemistry together was just phenomenal to watch. So those were my top five. Um, and I want to just end this by saying that a disappointing trend I've really noticed with Korean dramas is the whole multiple season or break between episodes that's happening. Like people in our streaming services, Netflix, Disney Plus, please stop doing this. I really, I don't like it at all. I'm glad that the Korean entertainment is getting so much more popular in the West now, you know, in American Europe, everyone knows about Korean dramas, Korean music. I love that. I've been here since the How You Wave began, which is what they call, you know, the influx of Korean entertainment to everywhere, everywhere else. And I've I've seen these movies. I've I've seen everything from the start. And the whole draw and appeal to me is that. I get everything within one season, 16 episodes normally, obviously with historicals and some of the dramas, they're like long form and can be longer or shorter if it's like a drama special or whatever. But this multiple season thing needs to stop. It's what makes me shy away from watching a lot of like American and European shows is because I know it's going to get draggy because they don't have a plot to keep going, but they just keep trying to milk it. And that's what's happening now. Or, you know, they'll only release eight episodes and then you have to wait three months for the next part. Because why? Why are you doing that? It's very, very annoying. And if you have any power to make this stop, please, please, please help me. Help your girl out. I really know. K-dramas are meant to be watched either, you know, while they're airing, meaning two episodes every week or all at once. <laughs> I don't want this break in between. I don't want the multiple seasons unless it was actually intended for multiple seasons like Alchemy of Souls was. Um, in that case, yeah, by all means, go crazy. But if not, please, 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 let's, let's stop this. Let's, let's just stop this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Comment for the ones that you agreed with or the ones that you wish I had mentioned. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.